Come in. Sir, good morning. Morning. Sir, good morning. So, uh, thank you. Good thank you very much. Thank you, sir. So, uh, thank you very much. Uh, you called me. I have uh, reviewed your health on your uh, company. I've uh, read it yesterday. So, sir, um, I have already solved solve your uh, problem on your company and it seems fine it's it's pretty normal and you have nothing to worry about it so uh do you do you want to know sir how how did i uh, solve it yes or, yeah because of course you are the mechanical engineering lead leader there so yes um the method that i used is random servicing what is random servicing well uh, random servicing sir is a method which applies when you have one person, just like yours, your company, your uh, facility, handling several machines that do not run or for a set of length of time, and uh, otherwise, it's sometimes in uh, in some cases needs servicing at irregular intervals. So, of course, we can't avoid some machines uh, always run out of um, oil or something. It needs maintenance. It needs servicing. So, um, here, sir, uh, I have the key terms so that uh, you can understand this better. Random servicing. I I have to stand up, sir. Is it yes. okay? It's okay. So, the first here, the key terms are here, sir. So, in random servicing, we have uh, six terms. As industrial engin engineers, we have six terms to use. So, the first one is the probability. Now, by the way, sir, probability and last hours are interconnected they are connected because you cannot uh, solve last hours if you don't have probability yes okay so here in probability you have here the formula probability equals n factorial over m factorial times the quantity of n minus m factorial times p to the power of m times q to the power of n minus m yes. so you may ask sir, what are these variables as you can see in here here sir here are the meaning of the variables, okay. so you can easily write it out if you have time. Yes. Then here, in the last hours, we have here, sir, the formula, number of idle machines, times the probability here, this is the probability, times the available time. So, you may ask, sir, what are these last hours? So, last hours are the time intended for the machine to run, but it ain't have the enough time to do it because there is a servicing or repair needed for the machine just like uh, what happened to your uh, facility which uh, I reviewed and if you've asked the number of idle machines are the ones who have been running for a long time while those that have not been running are called on the downtime status now that's the difference here the uptime the downtime status so the downtime, the downtime machines, those are the machines that uh, are not running anymore. Needs repair, needs maintenance, yeah? Yes. And uh, uptime, those are machines that are still running. Yes. Okay, you, you understand, sir? Yes. Of course. Uh, next is the total production time. So we have the formula, number of machines times operational hours. So the this total production time, uh, we all we uh, we just have to multiply these two, okay? okay? Now for the net available time, so here's the most crucial part. I mean, one of the crucial part in the net available time, you you have to find the time that have been left because of your machines. Remember, you have uh, you have four machines, sir, that have been running. Remember that the yes. the the, uh, the, the the article that you sent to me. So that uh, I've I've read that in your um, report on your facility, the net available time is uh, not that low, but it's on below average. So uh, I get confused a lot a bit when I read it. So the formula for the net available time is available production time. This minus the lost hours. So what is this net available time, sir? Um, the net available time are the time left 
for the operational hour for the uh, operation of your facility to run on those hours now remember how much uh, operational hours do you have sir i remember eight right eight yes, yes. Eight. because standard is eight eight hours yes yes, yes. eight hours per day then uh next is the hourly average output which having the formula net available production time times production day rate uh, as I remember production rate, sir, you have a uh, very plenty of production rate. I remember 50, 15. Yes. So that's 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 great. Actually, that's great. You have no problem with that. And over operational hours. So as uh, I've uh, I've understood on the hourly average output, it is very very uh, a bit of complicated, yet. Uh, once you get to understand this, this is just the output, the average output. And your average output here on your data, there's no problem with it. So uh, okay. I'm, I'm really impressed by how you handle your machines in your uh, company, sir. Yes. Thank you. Yes, yes. Welcome. And lastly, the total expected cost or TEC. This is the answer that we have been looking for. Okay. So the formula is K1 plus NK2 over hourly average output. So let's take note, K1 equals operator rate and K2 is machine rate. I've heard or I've already read that your operator rate seems a bit fine. It's 60 pesos. The minimum wage you the give to your rate. yes, 60 pesos per hour. So that's, that's good. And K2, the machine rate is uh, the machine that have been the cost of the machine, so that's the machine rate. Okay, sir, that will be the key terms. Would you like to know more? Yes. The data? Yes. Ah, uh, by the way, so let, let me uh, reiterate the problem. Okay. May I reiterate your problem, sir, so that I can uh, be, be sure of it? Yes. Okay, sir, Absolutely. here's the uh, problem. Uh, you are a mechanical engineer in... Uh, in a nearby village and you have four hydraulic machines yeah. and are assigned to one operator which is operating 60% of time and attended. Operators service time on regular intervals have 40% average of the time of the said four machines. Now uh, I've helped you sir with identifying the machine hours lost per eight hour day. Because of lack of an operator, then I also determined how many operators must be assigned if each operator is paid with 60 pesos per hour. So I, I've read this, sir, and this is actually a, a minimum wage. Even It's in, even higher than minimum wage, and machines run at 65 pesos per hour. So it's not that efficient, but I guess it's a bit high since it is hydraulic, so I understand it. And uh, your facility has an operation of 8 hours per day, and units produced is 15. So sir, here is your data. So this is the one that uh, you've been looking for, right? Yes. Here, sir. So as you can see, your last hours. You have only one operator, right? Yes, sir. Yeah. We have, we have, yeah, we have, have one, one operator operator per four, mach four hydraulic. That is four a hydraulic. tough job, but I know uh, it's just uh, about some mechanisms. It's, it's not tenant. Not. Yes, it's, yes, yes. Because it's, it's hydraulic, you have to drop in your hand. Yes. So uh, I calculated total last hours, 5.834. So the total last hours here, we're talking about big time. So five hours, 5.8 or almost six hours is uh, not that bad. But uh, I can say in hydraulic uh, machine, something on machinery, even though I'm not that expert, but I can say it's a, it's a big hassle when you have more than three lost hours, right, yes. sir? Yes. Okay. The next is the our total production time. Now our total production time, sir. Uh, I've calculated it. Four machines times eight hours equals 32, 32 hours. And this is an efficient one, I can say because uh, your company runs on hydraulic machines and hydraulic machines just doesn't run without uh, much electricity or maybe uh, fluids in it so i can say it is 
a bit efficient. And also here in the net available time, I as you can see, sir, in the equations, I've uh, used subtraction, you know, reduce yes. it. Yes. And uh, I've come up with four operators, sir, by the way. So there are these are the uh, available time left. So I think this is not that much. I mean, look at this, sir. It's just too close, right? Yes, yes. Too close. It's, it's, close. it's not just from 10, 10 intervals, 10 range. It's close. Yes, it's close. So yes. it's not that um, high. So in the output, here, sir, this is where you, you really want for the profit sales, right? Output. Yes. This is what we base. This is our basis. So output, we have one operator. Here, so we have 49. If there's one operator in four machines, 49.06 units, right? Yes. So if we have two operators, on the other hand, so we have uh, 56 units. So it's a bit much, but not that great. Three operators, 59, close to 60. Okay. And here, four operators is 60 dead, okay? Okay. Now, if we go to the total expected cost, you will be shocked as I can say there is nothing to worry about your facility. That was on area 4, right? Yes, it was on area, area 4. four. Yes. So I guess area 4 is for exporting yes, already. Uh, exporting. Assembly. So total expected cost for the uh, TEC1, 6.522 pesos per unit. So this, this is our uh, lead. This is the one that should be based on your um, economical cost on your machines. If they need repair, so this is the one that should be based. So on the other hand, TC2, TC3, and TC4, the, you shouldn't mind all this one. Why is that? Because this is not that much. This is not that much, but if you look upon the units here on the back, the output, so it, it is really high. It is really high. It's very costly. Yes. So costly, yes. if you base on TC2, 2, 3, two, and 4, so you'll get uh, less profit but more costs on your machines. That's why you should okay. base only on TEC1. Do you understand, sir? Yes. Okay. Okay, good. So that would be all, sir. That would be all for uh, your data. I hope you've uh, learned while I explained this, sir. Yes. So these are your data. I here, sir. Thank you so much. You can keep it now. Thank you, thank you so much, and thank you for your time, sir. Thank you. Thank you. Um, may I go out now, sir. Yes. Thank you very much. Thank you. Oh uh, wait. By the way, sir, that is uh for random servicing. Now, if you want um other complex relations about servicing, now you can still call me, sir. Okay. Will be fine. Okay. Thank you, sir. Absolutely fine.